Hi guys, it's another weekend vlog and I am on my way to the outlet. Shh. I just, I haven't been there in a long time and I just kind of want to see what they have new, you know? And plus it's a fun little getaway for me. All the boys are home and um, two out of the three are sleeping and um, so I figure I'll just go a little bit in the morning and I'll come back and then I'll be there the rest of the day to be taking care of them and they don't need any taking well they really don't need any taking care of taking care of what, what am I trying to say um, <clears throat> Let's just say the oldest one is the neediest one. But anyway, I am going to get on the highway in a minute. So I'm going to have to shut this thing off and um, maybe I will... I don't think I can show anything in there because they're very nice, but I think they'll get in trouble. So I don't want to get anybody in trouble. But, um, okay guys, hope you're having a happy Saturday. I wish these clouds would go away. It would be much nicer. But anyway, it's not raining, so that's a good sign. Because it poured, like, I don't know what last night. It's got to stop raining. I mean, we need some sunshine and vitamin D. Okay, getting on the highway. Bye, guys. Okay, I'm here. I made it. Look at the sky. It actually is looking like it's going to clear up. And I drove here with my turn signal on most of the way twice. Yes, twice. Don't you hate it when you do that, when you forget to turn off your turn signal? And then you realize it's on and you feel like an idiot. And then you say, I'm never doing that again. And then next thing you know, you've done it again. All on the same trip. <clears throat> what the heck? I must need to drink more of this. Um, and then I was listening to the radio really loud because that's what I like to do. And I've been really getting back into country again. And that's what I grew up listening to because my dad listened to it all the time. And then uh, when I, I don't know, like around fifth, sixth grade, my two best girlfriends they were like no you gotta listen to uh rock you gotta listen to wlsam and listen to this so i kind of switched into that and then later on in my probably mid to late 20s got back into country and then got back out of it and now my oldest son started listening to country a couple years ago and got me back into it again so <clears throat> But anyway, the song, you guys, you have to listen to this song. It is the happiest, most fun song, and I don't know the name of it, but <clears throat> it's a song that gives me goosebumps. Have, have you ever gotten that? I'm sure many of you have, because I know that's a common thing. Um, but it happens to me a lot. Several songs give me goosebumps, and um, I am fighting some serious... <clears throat> issues here today um <clears throat> but this song actually made me tear up and um I'm not an emotional person by any means in fact my husband says I don't have a right here but this song kind of evokes tears and I think it's because of the lyrics they're so meaningful and they're just so so great <clears throat> you guys have to, I'm sorry, I can't, like the whole way here I've been like, <clears throat> <clears throat> I cannot clear this throat, but you guys got to check this song out. I don't even know who sings it, I was trying to see on the radio when you can put on the display thing, but for the, some reason this station wasn't doing it, but it's like, um, a little bit of chicken fry, cold beer on a Friday night, and a pair of jeans that fit just right, and the radio up. And the next verse is something about a sunrise and the look of love in your woman's eyes. And 
What is the next one? This is the one that just tears me up so much. Um, <clears throat> the touch of a precious child and knowing a mother's love. And this just did it to me. I don't know. And it's such a happy song, you know, like with the banjo and background and everything. And it just gets me going. Little bit of chicken fry. Cold beer on Friday night. Pair of jeans just fit you. Pair of jeans that fit just right. And the radio up. Some by the sunrise. Look of love in your woman's eyes. And the touch of a precious child. And a mother's love. And it goes on. And it's just awesome. You've got to check it out. I really should have put these on for that little display. Because I needed to be in complete disguise. Because my husband says I'm a horrible singer. And... There have been times when we are hanging out together and we're having fun and we're singing along to the radio and then he told me that I ruined the song. Yes, I ruined the song. And that upset me a little bit because I love to sing. It's fun for me. It's stress relieving. But I know it's not the best. Anyway, I'm heading in there and let's see what we shall find today. I don't know if you guys can see that. Do you see that line? Sorry for the extreme close-up. I can't even see. See that line right there? That is a pillow crease. And I woke up like, what was it? Probably two hours ago now. And it's still there. That is the problem with old age. Those creases don't go away. All right, heading in. Oh my gosh, guys. It is so windy. Oh my gosh, and my feet are hurting. I walked around that mall from one end to the other end because I had to go to Kate Spade, and that's all the way on the other end of the mall. But look at the cute, cutest little bags they have at Kate Spade. And I did get myself a little something. I like the bag over there, but I feel like sometimes maybe I'm too old. For... Sorry about the hand there. Too, what am I doing? I'm too old for Kate Spade. I don't know. But the cutest little box for the accessories. And I just got myself a little wallet card case in the prettiest color red I've ever seen. But it's a nice little structured box of a type of a thing. And I think it's perfect for a little wallet. And look how great it looks with the bag I'm carrying today. Yeah, I took my glam nails off because they were kind of bugging me after a while. And then they were falling off and then, then some of them were off and some were on. And then I had to like almost rip my nail off to get it, the glue undone. I'm starving. I need to get myself somewhere. I need to get back home to take care of those men. But anyway, that is what I did. And I also did a little something else. You see that? Yeah, you know what guys? I've been working a lot of overtime. And I sold a bag. And I have another one that's for sale. Another two that's for, that are for sale. And um, it's just... A buyer screwed me over on um, one. They bid on it and they won the auction and then didn't pay. So then I emailed them, I contacted them through eBay and they didn't respond. And I contacted the, them again. And I didn't just, you know, I just said, you know, I'm ready to ship your item as soon as payment comes through. Just wanted to let you know and no response. Finally, you know, I contacted them one more time because you have to wait 48 hours before you can open any sort of a... You either have to cancel the order or you have to report it un, unpaid. And then you lose time because you have to wait a certain amount of days to be able to relist it again. So I'm in that limbo right now where I can't relist it because I'm waiting for this thing to get solved. 
And they finally emailed me back and said, oh, you know, my battery just went dead on my car and my brakes are out and I just can't afford this purchase right now. But if you're willing to lower the price, then maybe I'll take it. Really? No, sorry. Anyway. You know, I, I feel bad if that's truly the case. I don't mind canceling the order. I really don't. Somebody, okay, maybe they bid and they changed their mind. But this person had zero transactions on eBay and zero ratings. So I knew right away when the auction was won that there was going to be a problem. And I shouldn't be judging like that, but there was a problem. So, you know, it's happened to me once before. Um, anyway, I'm going to get back on the road and I need to get some food. But, um... All right, I'll check it back in later. I just have to say, Piper and Kitty, I tried on the Sloan Hobo, and it wasn't in the snake, but um, it was in the soft leather, and it's just too big for me. Yeah. I was holding off on getting that from I Love Dooney because I was really admiring your bags, but it's just too big. So, yeah, I was sad because if it looked nice, I was going to go back and just order that one from I Love Jimmy. Instead, I got a totally different bag. Okay, I'm home and the boys all went to the gym together to pump themselves up. And I have my goodies to share. So let us go, let us go, not let it go, let us go. All right, sorry for all the spinning around, but it is so yucky out today. The sun just doesn't want to come out. I'm turning lights on. Oops, I don't know what to do with this hand. Okay, this hand, hold it. So I did get an item that I have been wanting for a while and they finally have them at the outlets and well hold on you guys can look at the ceiling sorry about that I don't know what to do with that phone so I can't do this with one hand okay here we go I'm gonna have to flip you around there it is guys it's the City Barlow bag in the color black. And, oh, it's so pretty. Look at that. And the inside, I love the black against the, like the kind of beige tan gingham lining in here. It's so pretty. And it has that strap where you can take off the middle section. And probably all my neighbors are listening to me because I have my windows open. There is this one little flaw here. I don't know if you can see that. There's like a piece of white paper that's stitched into there. So I'm going to have to work with that. I'm going to have to tweeze that out of there or do something. And if I can't tweeze it out of there, I will put black marker on it so you can't see it. But yeah. Okay. Mod shots. <clears throat> It's so pretty with the black and the tan, and it's got those nice shiny gold accents that I really like, and the hardware is really big and chunky. Let me show you guys got all the stuffing here. But there's the hardware. Come on now, cooperate with me. Look at how big that is. I mean, that's that's nice hardware compared to... Here is the Olivia. And look at that. I mean, there's the difference. Oh my goodness. Come on. See that difference? There's a big difference. I mean, and yeah, it kind of makes it a little heavy, but... 
hey, it's so pretty. I just love the smooth leather of the City Collection and this Dooney and Burke raised logo. It's just, it's so modern and I love that. And inside there you've got the little Dooney and Burke leather patch with the logo in there and that's really pretty too. And the slip pockets, let me see something. Okay, you guys just went in the pocket. The iPhone 6 Plus fits in there nicely, but it also fits in this front pocket, which is a nice, easy way to store it. And it's got a back pocket here too. The back pocket does not have the little card slot. And then, let's take a look at this one again. It's got such a nice box. I mean, for the price of this at the outlet, to have such a nice box. Look at that. It actually looks the same color as the box. And it probably is. So I guess it's like a more of a pinkish red or a more orangey red. But now that's a pop of color. But that can actually go. Come on, these magnets. See how. What am I doing? How oh, it goes in there, or it can go. My husband's texting me. Um, in there, or in here. It's a cute card case. I love it. I love it. I love it. It's Safiano. Gosh, you guys, I'm so sorry. I'm trying to do this with while holding the phone. Why don't I just put the phone down? Okay. Look at that pretty display of bags right there, guys. Oh, man. That is some gorgeous red and some gorgeous black and some gorgeous browns mixed in there. Some of my favorite colors. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm going to play around a little bit and switch this up, I think. I have no way of holding this. Click. That's the magnet. And here's the problem. When I use this bag and other bags that have magnets, this chain gets stuck right to it all the time. <laughs> but let's just see if I can load this baby up. So I've got, I think it's going to be fine. I've got all my, you know, mints and lipsticks in there. And uh, just some paperwork. My glasses. Some of my lotion. extra lipstick and oh I have been loving this Gucci Guilty. It's my favorite perfume at the moment so I have been carrying that around with me and any extra lipsticks because I've got this one from my friend Bunky filled up and it holds everything I need except sometimes if I have like a bigger one like this um, it's sometimes I can't squeeze that in there, so I just stick that in the pocket. And that is it. That is everything out of there. I have been carrying this bag all week long. Since, probably since last Saturday, I think. So it's been a week. And I've been loving this bag. This is becoming softer and softer. And it is pebbled leather, but it's great because it's been raining all week and um, I really needed something weather friendly. But something did happen just yesterday, and you're not going to be able to see it, I don't think. Right there. See that little nick? There is a nick in the leather, and I don't know how it happened, whether it was taking it in and out of my desk or what, but there was a little nick in the leather, and you could see, like, a light color underneath, so I did scratch a little bit off the surface. And so I thought, well, I can't have that there because it's right on the front and that's all I see. So I came home 
and I don't know if you can see it. I came home and I took a red marker and I just put a dot on there to fill it in and it's all fine. But this is a great, great bag. I love it, I love it, I love it. But I love this one too. And yeah, this is just, I put all the stuffing in there and I keep that, I hold on to that in case I ever need to restuff the bag. Because this one came with specific little styrofoam little things that you can stick into these spots so that it doesn't, you know, get bent in. And if I wanted to take another card case, I can, because there's still plenty of room in this bag. And it closes fine. The only thing is I sometimes have a little problem with guiding that together. But I don't know. Is it heavy? It's not that bad. Yeah, it could be lighter. If it was coated cotton bag, it would be lighter, you know. Um, but it's so pretty. Look at that beautiful hardware. Look at that. Yeah, so I am very happy. Very happy with my find today. And here we've got, you know, I think this looks so pretty with that bag. So I've got that up there. And this one I've recently gotten out and started wearing. I love it, but it's been raining too much. And I don't wear charms on my bags when I carry them, but this looks so pretty on there sitting on the shelf. So I've just got that on display. And this is the cute little card case that Le Leah gave me, um, I think last summer. It's so pretty, look at that. It's got little jewels on there. Isn't that pretty? Oh my gosh, that is really beautiful. Thank you, Leah. Why isn't this focusing? Okay. And some colorful bags for spring, summer. How would this card face look with that bag? Ooh, look at that. On the camera, it looks perfect, but with the in, to the naked eye, it's a little oranger than the bag. But yeah, this one is one of my favorite totes for summer. It's just great, that white and tan together. And it's like the perfect strap length and the perfect size. Oops, what are you doing on there? Pretty colors. Oh my gosh, I love... I was going to sell this one. It's the Celadon, but I just can't bring myself to do it because it's a great color for any season. And then Logo Lock down there, which I'm contemplating selling. Um, but every time I get ready to, I just can't do it. Okay, guys. So we have babies. They went back down. When they saw me coming out the door, they ducked back down into the nest. But when I'm inside the door and I'm looking through the glass, they're all sitting up and you can see their little heads and they're so cute. Uh, what was that? You should stay outside till your sanity returns. Why? Because they're cute. I get a vlog, miss. Yes, they're Here's cute. Because the whole world exists through a camera. Yes, it does right now. Look at this is what my husband is happy or not happy about. Right, bird shit. <laughs> I don't like birds. I don't want them here in my house, but yet the blonde one invites them in. Oh, come stay two feet away, two inches away from the door. And then guess what we're gonna do? There's shit all over your stew. All right. All oh, right. God, ungrateful teenagers. All right. Creed's finally out of his cage. It's been a long time. Hey, look down, Josh. There he is. Isn't he cute? Mom, all your, all your YouTube friends are going to think it's gross. I know. They, they're not going to like it. But Creed's a cool snake, you guys. Listen. Snakes are not slimy. <laughs> and they're not scary. They're nice. Yeah. He's so cute. He's got the cutest little face. And would I let my son put a snake on his head? If he wasn't nice. <laughs> He's like in his own little hook right now. You know what though? That snake has got to be starving. It's been a long time since he's eaten Should we a feed mouse. Him that? Yeah, but I kind of take a cue. If he comes out of his little hiding place, then I think he's looking for food. I haven't seen him out of his hiding place at night. 
How long has it been since we've uh, since you? It has to be a couple of months. I feel like <laughs> at least a month, if not more. Okay, yeah, he's so cool. He's all in a he's like position. Cool now. <laughs> hey, Creed. He's so pretty. He really is. I'm gonna purse like that. <laughs> Mom. <laughs> no. Don't worry, Josh. I would never do that. But he really has a cool pattern. Mom, you're going to be a poacher. No, I'm not. <laughs> I could have poached that snake by now if I wanted to, Josh. <laughs> no. I only like the synthetic kind. <laughs> he looks like he's got himself in a knot right now. <laughs> Creed, what are you doing? <laughs> Straight out. I wonder how long he is. Like he, they never straighten out, so you can't tell. I know. I feel like he's like. That's how you're supposed to measure him if you put him on a cold floor. Yeah, because then they don't move as much. Yeah. How long do you think it is? Like three feet. Oh. Uh, two and a half, three. Yeah, probably. He's probably like three feet. He's actually gotten pretty thick. Yeah. And I'm surprised because he doesn't eat. <laughs> This is really going to gross people out when you see him. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Especially looking at our disgusting floor. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Bye, Creed. Well, guys, here it is Sunday already. These weeks, week, weekends. These weekends go by so fast, I'm telling you. Um, yesterday we had a rainy, dreary, yucky, cold day, and today we have a sunny cold day it's only 45 seriously middle of May and 45 um, and I'm at hockey right now I'm waiting to go into this freaking freezing rink this rink is so cold last week when I came here I was wrapped up in my long down coat. I had a blanket wrapped in my, around my legs. I had a scarf around my neck and I was trying to answer comments on YouTube and my fingers were numb. But I, I had to do it. I was determined to do it. Um, but anyway, um, those little birdies are so cute in the nest. I just wanted to tell you guys that um, I look like I have space in my tooth. Anyway, um, yesterday I actually saw them their heads peeking out of there and it's so cute because when they think no one's coming they'll be sitting up and you can see their whole head and there's two of them that I can see and um, then when you kind of open the door to go out they pop back down and all you see is a little beak sticking out of the top of the nest they are so cute and so this morning my son and I when we went to leave for hockey we opened the door and I think we startled the one baby because he flew out of the nest and he flew down, you know, went a little ways and down. I thought he was going to run into the neighbor's house, but he made it to the ground. And then, of course, mom and dad are down on the ground and they're like trying to shepherd him because he's like trying to get up and fly again. And they're over there, you know, trying to round him up. And and me and my son were both like, oh, this is so cool. We think we just saw his first flight. So and then we started getting worried like, oh, no, is he going to be able to get back up in the nest or is this it? I mean, once they go out of the nest, do, do they stay out of the nest for good? I don't know. I don't know what happens. But then I started thinking, oh, the other one's up there all alone now and he's going to be scared because his brother or sister is missing. And, oh, it's such a roller coaster ride with these birdies. But they are so cute and it's been so interesting watching them. And everything that they do, you know, it's kind of... It's interesting anyway. And then yesterday my husband found another nest up on a speaker on the side of the garage, which I didn't even see that nest before. So I don't know if there's any birdies in there. I feel like I've only seen, you know, two adult birds. So I think it's mom and dad of the one nest by our back door. But anyway, so I think maybe those birdies are leaving the nest soon. And then um, I'll be able to clean up the mess that they le left on the ground. And then my husband can leave the issue alone Ugh. anyway so yeah I'm gonna go in there in a couple minutes and freeze and then it's gonna take me all day to warm up at home because that's what happened last time but um, at least it's nice and sunny today and 
I'm happy about that. Um, at least we'll get one nice day, and then it's back to the old grind next week. So, I hope you guys all had a great weekend, and um, thank you so much again for joining me on another vlog, and um, thank you for your support. Take care. Bye, guys.